Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of HDFS guys. So it is nothing but a Hadoop distributed file system. Okay. Yes. So the main goal of this distributed file system is nothing but you want to store the data that you are collecting from the servers, right? So here we are collecting a huge amount of data. So you cannot store it in a single server or at a single place because if it is lost, you are literally screwed, right? So all the data is lost. So that is the reason why you should replicate it into multiple servers and store it in such a careful way guys. Yes. Yes. So that is the reason why the first thing that you will be doing is you'll be breaking this data into small, small chunks and storing in it multiple servers with multiple copies guys. So I give the whole idea in a single statement guys. Okay. So the main goal is to manage the distributed storage. Okay. So here we will be having name nodes and data nodes guys. So name nodes will contain the data of the data. That is nothing but metadata, right? Yes. So assume that here we got a, a huge data, which we divide into three different chunks. Okay. Yes. So I got this data. So I'll be observing. So assume that I am the name server. So I'll be observing the packets. Okay. So the first packet looks really good. So let us push it into the first node as well as the second node. So I can push it into multiple nodes. So sorry, here I pushed into three nodes. Okay. So the first one I pushed into three nodes. Assuming that that's really important guys, please make, let us make it multiple copies and I pushed it into the all three nodes. Okay. Similarly, when a two came, so I thought that, okay, so this is somewhat important. So let us push into two nodes. Okay. So, okay. So here I pushed only into one node. Okay. So I assume, okay, I pushed into only a single node. Okay. So after that three came, so for three, I pushed into this node. So basically pushing this into a particular data node is completely random guys. Okay. So by using some algorithm, they'll be deciding, I think so. I'm not sure about it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here you can even delete the node also. So assume that a node data completely you used, utilized it. And now there is no need of that particular node data in your system. So then you can delete it also. So that, that is also possible. Okay. Yes. So here we follow the master slave architecture. So here the master is this guy that is nothing but name node and data nodes are our slaves. So basically the master will be sending the data and these guys will be receiving the data. That's it. Right? Yes. Okay. So data about a data is nothing but the metadata that is stored in the name node. Okay. So actual data is stored in the data node in the form of blocks sizes that is nothing but 64 MB. Right? So each and every block, this whole block I divided, right? So that will be of a size of 64. If you observe, so basically even in our system, if we divide each block into 64, we'll be getting some many copies, right? So many blocks we'll be getting. In the same way, if it is a big data, means it will be in some thousands or thousands of GB. So in that situation, it will be a lot, right? Yes. Okay. So basically data will be divided into blocks of maximum size of 64. Yes. These are... Sorry, these are placed in the randomly using this using some algorithm. Okay, into data node. So you'll be placing them somewhere. Okay, so whenever we want to delete unwanted blocks, we can delete them. Okay, so if we want to replicate them, we can even replicate them. So even you can replicate. So assume that you pushed into only one, right? So you pushed into only one node. And if you want to replicate this three, now you can replicate here. That's it. Simple. So even in that way, also you can replicate it. Okay, so now let us go through a map reduce example, guys. Okay, so I have just printed it. Okay, so I think the image is clear, right? So I'll just allow zoom in. Just give me a second. Okay, now it's 100% clear. Okay, so now let us go through. So here we are trying to do an operation that is nothing but a word count, guys. So basically we are counting the number of words in this whole sentences. So basically here we give three inputs, guys. That is nothing but do you like green eggs and ham? Okay, green eggs. Okay, let it be. Would you like them in a house? Okay. Would you like them with a mouse? Okay. But if you observe here, like is common in everyone. Okay. You is also common. Like there are some similar words, right? So if you notice here, yes. And here we are using the word, you are doing the word count guys. Okay. Yes. So here, do you like, so if once it is mapped here, you will be writing in terms of its condition values guys. So how many do's are there one? How many you are there one? How many like are there one? How many green are there one? How many eggs are there one? How many and are there one? How many ham are there one? So in that way, you'll be representing each and every one. So this is nothing but map function. So you're mapping them into key value pair. So this is our key and this is the count that is nothing but value. So how many do's are there? One do is there. So we differentiated them. So group is a nothing but you will be grouping these people into a single group guys. So there are some values common, right? So that step you'll be doing in map. So group is nothing but you'll be just combining them. So on this, you write this. So basically after this is done, you combine this. After this is done, you combine this. So you'll be getting a huge list, right? So we got the huge list. So reduce is nothing but here you'll be taking the common part. So if you observe here, we are having two ways. Okay, here we are having three likes, two thems, 
two woods, three use. So you will be reducing them. So this is the process, guys. So this is for a small data of three input strings. So if there are ten thousand input strings, so the same process continues. So this is nothing but map reduce, guys. So now I hope everyone got a hundred percent clear idea, right, about this whole map reduce concept. Okay. So in the next lecture, we will be discussing about scaling, guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture and discuss about it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.